Hey everyone, it's Lindsay Ann and today I thought that we could just chill and do my makeup because I actually have somewhere to be in 20 minutes. So let's just have a quick chit chat, get ready with me and of course get your glass of lemon water and let's just hydrate everyone. Currently, I'm like literally on high alert because there is a fly infestation in my room. I swear to God. My main weapon of choice has been this tissue box by Kleenex. I would rate the sturdiness about a 3 out of 10. As you can see, there are multiple rips and crinkles around the box. And why did I just touch the bottom of the box? The bottom of the box contains so many of our fallen soldiers, the flies, and their blood and guts. So let's not touch the bottom, okay? But yes, as you can see, my tissue box has gone through a war fighting all these flies i don't know where all these flies came from like honestly i just woke up today and like they're not around my room they're only on my window there was literally like 20 flies just on my window it was the most disgusting thing ever and i used my trusty fly swapper after i literally broke my tissue box to slap some of these flies away and it was literally like a war zone like there was just flies on the ground like 20 of them it was actually disgusting so that's why i'm being very cautious like i don't know where it's from like there must like is there mold in my room somewhere because like they're only gathering by the window and the window is never open so i have no idea why they're here but if you guys see me pulling out this you'll know why but let's just get started with the makeup so i'm first starting off with just some concealer my cheeks always get super red i think i have rosacea so i always just like to pull out concealer on my cheeks i don't put anything on my forehead though um, because I think when you do it looks like really cakey and stuff So here's a wet beauty blender. I think the main topic of choice. I just want to talk about here is k-dramas Like honestly, I've been getting so into k-dramas lately k-dramas are definitely like my guilty pleasure But like they're so good like They're top-notch and there's like different categories of k-dramas like k-dramas are actually like quality tv versus k-dramas are just like super trashy cliche like boy meets like a rich boy meets poor girl drama but you just watch because you know those are good on different level my first k-drama i watched was like in june and it was the king eternal monarch and after that i was just in like a k-drama rabbit hole where i just you know i watched the airs i was so obsessed with lehman ho okay i watched like the airs legend of the blue sea i'm currently watching city hunter but in between i watched like um each Wan class what else I watch? I watch something else. Oh, I watch like What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, my I, my ideas Gangnam Beauty or something. So yeah, if you guys have any like K drama recommendations, please leave them down below because your girl is gonna watch them. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I just have a like, goof-proof brow pencil, and I really like this brow pencil because like other brow pencils literally only have like such minimal product, and it's so expensive. But this actually has like you know, a pretty thick stick. And you know, we love a thick stick, okay? Okay. I always feel like I suck at doing makeup. Like, I feel like it looks good in person, but like whenever I see videos of myself, I'm always like, I literally am the worst at makeup. And I remember when I was in like high school, I would put on so much eyeshadow. And now looking back, it's just so gross. Like, I don't know why, I feel like, like the i feel like all asian girls do this honestly like put like brown or like oranges eyeshadow and sometimes it looks so good on people but just for me it looked horrible like that eyeshadow shade i feel like i'm getting like more comfortable not wearing makeup because like i remember when i was in high school i would be so insecure and feel like i would have to wear makeup everywhere i went like even if i had to go to kroger and stuff I would just have to like at least do my brows or something and i would never ever go to school without any makeup on but like i think now you know i maybe i just like don't really care anymore because of covid but i just am like more in tune with my natural beauty you feel but i would like to talk about me starting youtube and this get ready with me so like a little bit background about me I'm like honestly a very like introverted person. I think I'm like really really shy like in person and it's like it's literally one of like the worst things I think about myself. Like I hate being like because like I literally hate having hashtag social anxiety 
but um I definitely have that and so like I want to be that like really social person that can literally like make conversations with anyone right <sighs> But when I just like in person, I'm literally so awkward and I just don't know what to say. So I just don't say anything. So I mainly just like started YouTube to try like overcome that, I guess, or just like express myself to other people without having to talk to other people, if that makes sense. Oh my God. I literally only have 10 minutes left, what the heck. Next, I'm just gonna go on with some boy brow. But yeah, so like, I like YouTube I think is just like a way for me to obviously talk about fashion which I love talking about and in high school I never found a place or um, like even like people that I could really talk to fashion about and like geek out about fashion and stuff I think YouTube just really lets me do that and like connect with all of you guys who also are fashion geeks like me next I'm just gonna go in with some bronzer to bronze up my face but back on my social anxiety when I was little I used to be so sociable like I remember I would go to so many Chinese parties like if you're Chinese you know this there's so many Chinese parties especially in the summertime and I could literally like make friends with like anyone and like everyone knew me as like the really social one and stuff but I don't know I feel like as I got into high school or maybe even yeah I think it was high school definitely I don't know if it's like a confidence thing but I just like stopped being as social and so I definitely like have very awkward moments where I feel like I'm like so awkward and so out of place and I just feel so uncomfortable a few years ago when I would feel super uncomfortable like I would always just like pinch myself for some reason just like this right like like dig my I guess it's just like digging my fingernails into like my finger whenever I feel super uncomfortable like I stopped doing that but I just remember like whenever I, this would happen whenever I felt really uncomfortable in social situation and I think it's like literally like the thing I hate most about myself honestly I'm like literally so envious of people that can just go out and be have normal conversations with people that you don't know and be charismatic and like actually know what to say during a conversation like okay I'm taking a little bit extreme like I it's not like I, I can't say anything and like I freeze up or anything it's just that I feel like I'm just quiet and shy and introverted and I want to change that because I want to be an extroverted person you know I will take you guys on my journey to become an extroverted person so that's why this summer I want to like I've been trying to place myself in, in like uncomfortable situations for me where like it's just like social situations um where i just like work with people that i don't know like blah blah blah, blah right <sighs> but i feel like i've been making no progress i guess the first step to solving any problem is recognizing that there is a problem yes we will be doing the bare minimum today next i'm gonna go with this glossier cloud paint i actually love this color like you guys definitely have already heard about this but the dust color i think really suits like my skin tone so we're gonna be putting this on back on to social anxiety i think like this situation is definitely like magnified when i'm like talking to people that like intimidate me or like um people that like that i admire or like you know it's just like people that intimidate you like people you admire people that have like that are like more well known like i guess it's like a power thing I'm like fine like talking to people for example like are, are like freshmen right in high school like I can talk to them and have a conversation with them but like if I talk to people who are like a couple years older than me or like that I admire who I think is really cool I just like freeze up and I'm like hi my name is Lindsay Ann and that's all I say next we're just gonna do some eyeshadow I just use the hula bronzer on my eyes because as I talked about I have scarring pat experiences with heavy eyeshadow I don't know basically like all i want to say is just like this is something that i'm trying to get better at and hopefully i can be more social in the meantime youtube just like allows me to talk about things that i think are cool without being an awkward little bean but let's talk about some other topics of interest specifically asmr i don't know why these are literally the most random topics Ooh. not mascara first we're gonna first do eyeliner but I have like been watching ASMR for like two, three, four years now, like a really long time. I just wait for it to dry. I can't blink. I just closed my eyes. What am I doing? 
Okay, I'm gonna open my eyes. Okay, but ASMR. I don't know why, like I've been loving like massages lately. Just, like just watching people get massages. Like my two favorite channels currently are Anil ASMR. Like this guy literally cracks me up because he like, you have to, you have to watch his like videos. Like the way he does massages and how like into it he gets and like how close to his like clients he gets. It's so weird, but it's relaxing, not gonna lie. Also, this like Chinese YouTuber, I think her name's like Shibi or something like that. And she gets like a lot of massages in China and like Chinese massages are like on a different level. I feel like in like America at least, foot massages aren't really a thing, but like in China, it's like super popularized and like everyone gets like foot massages. And honestly, they're so relaxing. Like I love it. I remember when I got a Amer uh, massage in like America, um, it was just like a regular Swedish massage and I'm so ticklish. Like my back, like and like all they did was was like massage my lower back and my back and like it definitely like just like didn't feel comfortable because I'm just so ticklish. But um, at in like China at least, would they like massage like your arms, your hands, your feet, which is weird because I'm not that ticklish on my feet. But you know like it actually feels nice. So yeah. Also, I literally just want an ear massage. Okay. This is also another weird thing about China. Like America apparently, it's like really gross to pick your ears or whatever. But like in China, there's little like ear pickers that you can buy. And like my parents, my mom has been like picking my ears since like when I was, since I was like a baby. So um, there's like professional people I can go to to like pick your ears, like pick the earwax of your ears. And honestly, those just look so relaxing. Like they like put a feather over your face and your ear. And like they put like a vibrating thing on your ear. Like, oh, it looks so relaxing. So that has been my daily source of ASMR. Okay, so we're basically done now. We're just gonna put on this lip balm, this tinted lip balm from Milk. This this lip balm actually smells like disgusting, but you know what? We're just gonna put it on. And for like a more summery look, we're just gonna put on some more blush because why not? But we're actually gonna get a different color. We're gonna use the same cloud paint, but in Storm. It's like a purplish color, which I don't know if will look good with my skin tone, but we'll just try it. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. So that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope that you guys enjoy this like sit down, chill, get ready with me. I honestly love these videos because I feel like I'm like connecting with you guys more and just like talking to you guys about like things that aren't fashion, which like always I love fashion, but you know, like I just feel like that you guys can get to like know me a little more through these videos. So let me know if you guys want me to do more of these videos because I would love to do those. But yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you guys liked it, that would help me so much. So yeah, I think that's all I have for today. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!